Welcome everyone, Seattle Tool 6723. What do we have here? Balvini, 12 year old, single bear, barrel, first field, 12 years of age, cast number 1383, bottle number 261. It's a 750 milliliter bottle as opposed to a 700, bottled at 47.8% alcohol AV, near cast strength. This is a non-chill filtered, the Balvini single barrel is non-chill filtered at lower temperatures or on the addition of water, a slight haze may occasionally develop. This is perfectly natural and does not in any way impair the quality of the single malt. First fill cast, the single malt has been maturated exclusively in a first fill ex bourbon for at least 12 years. Our malt master carefully samples the age cast by cast. He only selects the single malt characterized by sweetness and subtle vanilla oak. He expects the maturation in this type of cast to be bottled at the Balvini single barrel first fill. What more can you say? I'll give you nose, aroma notes, tasting and finish. Let's see as you can see we've we've used it a few times so I kind of know what to expect but it's been sitting a while getting a bunch of air. And of course since we're doing a elitist whiskey review we will need a coaster to do this out of and there you have it and of course being bottled at 47.8 percent we will add a little bit of additional water to unlock it but first regular nose <sighs> on the nose I'm getting a floral note a sweet apple Kind of like a bit of cinnamon that's underneath. Yeah, definitely sweet sweetness with like apples and pears. Hmm. Okay. A, a wee bit on the. Uh, on the palate. Oh wow. Now it's developing sweetness, vanilla, spice. A slight more vanilla cream and caramel with a bit of zesty fruit and some some wood spice. This is matured re rather well, but it also has a little bit of a kick to it. And what I mean by a little bit of a kick is, is that it's at 47.8%. So the alcohol strength is there, but it's well balanced. There's a few notes that I couldn't get on the finish. I got the vanilla, I got a little bit of the wood spice, but there seems to be a little bit something else there. So we're going to add a little bit of Fiji water. 
from the islands of Fiji to see what what we get. Just a little bit. Gentle stroll around the glass on the notes, the nose, definitely vanilla, a little bit of orange, the wood spice is there, kind of like a honey is unlocked, and there's my sweet apples. On the palate. Arrival. Sweet vanilla, creamy buttery almost from the oil balance that water that I added to it rounded out that alcohol punch to where it was a vanilla smooth creamy bit of cinnamon enough spice to carry it through the mid palate where you get that cinnamon and that fruity, zesty taste to a nice, warm, fruity finish. It takes you through the notes. What I would say, it takes you through the notes progressively. The smooth, creamy, vanilla, fruity, spice, mid-palate, smooths out well-rounded finishes off by going into a nice warm fruity finish that's what I get from this now this particular bottle single barrel runs $69.99 it's a $70 bottle it's more expensive than the double wood I've had the double wood the double wood pretty much and I've kind of mixed the two, played around with them. Let's just be honest. Um, if you're asking for my opinion on it, at $69.99, would I buy another one? Yeah. I'm the only one that actually has really, well, uh, my brother and, and the missus have tried this, you know, when we had a little get together, so... It's a, it's got a, it's got a warming punch to it. That warmness comes from the 47.8%, which is right here. Let's see if it'll focus. So it's almost near cast strength. So as far as an evening, cool, an evening, you know, drink where, you know, you got a few friends around, everyone's having a good time, and you want to introduce something that's going to be creamy, vanilla, got some zest, got a little bit of spice. And it'll warm you up and get you to where you need to be at. This is it. You know. Um, at $69.99 though. Is it worth it? Is the big question. I'll say for me. as it, it, Me personally. Yeah I would buy another bottle of this. If I can get it at a better price. I like it even better. But I think the 60 to 69 range. Is where it's at. Um, Balvini has made a, a, a very good product with this. No doubt about it. I think this is an excellent product. Um, I ain't going to say I think I know. I said I'd buy another bottle. Um, the price point is 70 bucks, though. Knowing that I can get something better, you know, along with my taste profile, is a little bothering, though. I mean, it's a 12-year-old whiskey. Um... And I'm doing whiskey reviews, and I'm just giving people my opinion on it. Um, you know, I like it better at 50. 
fifty nine ninety. I think at fifty nine ninety nine, it's a no brainer. Sixty nine ninety nine. You know, if you throw another five or ten bucks here and there, and you shop around, you can pick up a Glen Goyne eighteen year old. Just, just saying. You know, because price point is important. The value for your dollar. I think at sixty nine ninety nine. You're maxed at your dollar. A little bit more, I think you can do better. Just my opinion. So, with that said, you know, it's a one trick pony. It's going to be creamy. It's going to be, it's going to give you the orange. It's going to give you a little bit of fruits, you know, like pineapple, pears, sweet apple. Um, it's going to give you that creamy, buttery. Uh, taste. It's going to give you hints of spice and notes, and it's a very good uh, single malt scotch. Don't get me wrong. The price point on it, I think $10 cheaper. It's a winner for everybody all day long. So shop around. Try to get the lowest price on it if you choose to go with the single malt. I paid $69.99. And there you have it. This is Seattle 206723, and I'm out.